Hi everyone, Code Queen Ayeli. The Corbett development team just released the most amazing thing. Whether you're somebody that's just learning how to use Corbett, or if you're someone that's been using it for quite a while, it's always great to have Corbett examples to follow or to look through to give you new ideas on what type of projects or what type of solutions can be created with Corbett. They just released Corbett examples on Wix.com. Okay, so they already had Corbett examples, but they just released a massive revamp with not only a new design, but a whole lot of new examples that were not there before. So let me walk you through it. To get to the examples page, you can look at my video description below, click on the link, or you can visit wix.com slash corvid slash examples. You'll land on this beautiful page. At the very top of the page, you're gonna see a really nice big search bar. You can start typing in whatever you like to start looking through all of the examples that they have. If you notice at the bottom of each example, it will determine what type of code level it is. You can also filter by these code levels. You can select all code levels, beginner, intermediate, or advanced. You can view all examples, or you can browse to the different categories that they've defined at the top. Now, if you have something in the search bar and you click on a different category, then it will search for that specific search value in that specific search category. So if you want to search all categories or all values, either exit out here or click all examples. If you scroll all the way down to the bottom for all examples, you'll notice that there are many pages. Browse through the pages to look through all of the examples. Make sure to come back to this page because I have a feeling they're going to be continuously adding new examples for you to try. Let's say you find an example that you like. When you click on one of the examples, you will either be redirected to a forum post that has the example and explanation of how it's done, or you will be redirected to an example page that has all the pieces of information that you will need to recreate that sample. Let's check out first the build a slot machine in a light box. Once you click on it, this specific example will lead you to a forum post. It will carefully describe everything that was used and you will also be able to find a link to view the live example or to open up the example in the Wix editor. If you want a copy of the example with all the code, click on Open in Editor. Once you have it in the editor, you can play around with the code, test it out, even save it or publish it as your own. Pretty neat, right? Let's go back to the other examples. Let's browse through the Wix Store's examples. By clicking on the product configurator, which is a very popular request, by the way, you'll be able to see the code level. This one is for an advanced coder. At the bottom, you'll see copies of example code for each different type of page. For example, there's a page called sweater, another one called product page, and another called the site code. You may find that some of these pages do not require any code, and other pages do. Just the same, you can click on the Edit Now button and it'll open up in the Wix editor and the code will already be on those pages. Since this example is for an advanced coder, Wix is assuming you already know how to access that code on each section or on each page. So you would turn on the developer mode and start exploring. Very cool, right? I know, I was really excited. So once you're back on the example page, you will also see an example description. It'll be a brief description on what they're trying to show or create. Then they'll have the example code and they'll have another description on how they built it. And there'll be a short list of APIs used. Sometimes you'll find examples that don't have any APIs. If you click on any of these API references, it'll take you to the Wix Corvid API reference list. If there are any related articles, then you will also find that link there. Remember that you can also find tutorial articles directly on the Wix Support Center. Click on Corvid by Wix and it'll give you other examples. At the very bottom of the page, you may find some related examples. For example, these are the recommended products or these are the product reviews for a Wix store. Regardless of your code experience or your code level, remember that you can always Click on edit now, open up the example, and try to reverse engineer what was already created. Or you can also find other resources like the code forum. Once you're there, there is a community made of thousands and thousands of people. You can post a question, post screenshots of your problem, post screenshots of the code that you've tried, and let the community guide you. 
you will find many members. If you browse through the members list, you'll find a solid group of member moderators and Corvid Masters. Some of these Corvid Masters are probably also available for private hire to either finish a project for you or to teach you on how to do it. Now that I've showed you where you can find Corvid examples, where to find the code, and where to find help, what are you going to build with it? You can also find Corvid examples on totallycodable.com and you can follow the links to the community site and the community Facebook group where you can share your progress, ask questions, or even offer your coding services to others. I'm Code Queen Ayeli. Thanks for watching and for subscribing. Bye.